Hi, my name's Jess Meldrum from Qmetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, I'm going to be discussing relative time in Office Connect. Within workbook properties of an Office Connect report, there is a property called Report Date. Underneath Report Date, there's a checkbox that says Make New Time Elements Relative to the Report Date. When opening a new Office Connect report, the default behaviour is to have the report date as the current date and also to have the Make New Time Elements Relative to Report Date enabled. At the time of recording this video, we're in February. This would mean that if I was to drag February into my report, it would tell me that it's current month. Moving forward, the report date will drive the date in the report. I'm going to change the report date to the last date in January. At the time of recording, this would be previous month. I'm now going to select OK and I'm going to add January into my report. Let's refresh the report. By adding a time label to the report and refreshing the data, it's going to make it easy to see which month we're reporting on. As we can see, we're reporting on January. If we're to go into the workbook properties and we're going to choose a separate date, so for example, the last date in December, and select OK, by refreshing the report, we now expect to see December. Whilst relative dates serve a great purpose of being dynamic and makes maintaining reports a breeze, there are times where it is necessary to have a static date, which does not change. In Office Connect, this is called an absolute date. We could handle these in two ways. Tune in to our next video, which will discuss absolute dates for Office Connect.